The JVC Studio Camera Tutorial The on and off switch The on and off switch is located on the left side of the camera. The battery pack The battery pack is generally used for field recording, unless you do not have an AC charger. To power the camera, carefully slide the battery pack into its respective outlet. Input 1 and 2 mic. These mics are generally used for field recording. The play button is located on the left side of the camera. To record, press one of the record buttons. Then, to review the footage, use the play and stop buttons. The JVC Studio Camera has different components. The hood, the zoom servo, the external monitor, the viewfinder, earpiece. Be sure it is plugged in when in use and unplugged when not in use. Mounting plates. The mounting plates stabilize the camera and mount into the tripod head. Tripod arms and the tripod legs. Memory card slot A and B. Located on the right side of the camera, these are used to store footage. If space runs out on option A, Press the button in the middle to switch to slot B. This will continue to save your recordings. The ND filter. This filter is used to reduce light. It is also to help cut down on the glare of the shot. Leave this function off when outdoors. Gain control. The gain control function is the opposite effect of the ND filter. Start on low. If there is not enough light, adjust to medium or high as needed. There are three ways to zoom on the JVC Studio camera. The zoom lens. Every zoom lens has a zoom ring on the lens barrel itself. However, do not use if the zoom servo is attached. The zoom servo accessory is another way to zoom. Use the rocker switch on top of the zoom servo to zoom from tele to wide. The last way to zoom is on the arm mounted servo control. There is also a rocker switch. Autofocus and manual focus. If using autofocus, be sure to turn the slide switch on. This will ensure that the subject of your shot is focused. However, the camera does not always choose the right focal point. In a studio environment, turn the autofocus switch off and use manual focus. Manually use the focus ring which is located as the furthest ring on the lens barrel. The auto white balance button. There are two ways to use white balance. To automatically set the white balance, turn the slide switch on. The camera will then automatically guess the white balance value. If you want to manually set the white balance, direct the lens to a white background. Then customize the white balance with options A and B. The reason there are two customizable options are for the different settings. For example, with studio light and one without. In this case, we will select B. We will face it to a white paper. Make sure the white background fills the entire frame. Then, press the white balance calibration button located on the very front face of the camera body. Keep in mind when recording, every time the lighting changes, recalibrate the white balance. 
The preset button function will be covered in our advanced video.